that's the Handel's plan. Who does that Peter Sam think he is, grumbled Sir Handel. He goes gallivanting off to Wales, and when our new engine isn't ready, he's brought back. We can manage without him. We're short engine until the new one is ready, said Scarlow. It's sensible to have him back. Huh, <laughs> snorted Sir Handel rudely. If he's too puffed up in his smoke box, I know what I shall do. When the thin controller told Peter Sam to rest after his journey, Sir Handel was not pleased. What's the good of coming home just to laze about all day? Sir Handel grunted. He bumped his coaches crossly. Near the shed, he thought he saw Peter Sam grinning at him. Right, he muttered. That's it. His wheels hit a rough rail joint. There was a crack and a clatter, and his driver stopped in quickly. That's your day done, he said. Your fire bars have collapsed and your fire has fallen out. Sir Handel chuckled to himself. His plan was working well. Rusty was the only engine available quickly. He took Sir Handel's train. Then controller came to see Peter Sam. Sorry to spoil your rest, he said, but I'm afraid you'll have to take Sir Handel's next train. Some of Sir Handel's fire was rescued and put into Peter Sam's firebox. As soon as Peter Sam could move, he pushed Sir Handel into the shed. Sir Handel didn't help at all. He just smirked to himself in the darkness. That'll teach him, he thought. Days passed, but no one came to mend Sir Handel. Visitors thronged to see Peter Sam now that he was back, and everyone else was very busy. Oh dear, thought Sir Handel sadly. I did a bargain for this. He grew cold and his paint became dull. The cleaners were much too busy making sure the working engines looked smart to worry about Sir Handel. He heard the men working on the new engine, but they didn't come to see him. They had no time for him either. One day, the sound of cheering came from the workshop. They must have finished the new engine, Sir Handel muttered miserably. I wish I could see him. Just then the door at the back of the shed opened, and Sir Handel heard footsteps. It was the thin controller. Hello, he said. Why are you looking so fed up? I'm sorry, sir, said Sir Handel. Whatever for, asked the thin controller. I broke my fire bars on purpose, sir. I wanted to pay Peter Sam back. The thin controller paused. I see, he said. He quickly rethought what he had been going to say. Well, Sir Handel, he said sternly, thank you for owning up. If you promise to behave yourself, you shall be mended. Oh, yes, sir, I will, sir. Very well, said the thin controller gravely. Later that day, Sir Handel was given a new set of fire bars. No one ever told him that the special sort which he always used had only been delivered that morning. <laughs> <laughs>